All right, everyone. So now let's go ahead and go and implement our add weather view model. The add weather view model will be responsible for everything that happens on the add city screen. You can see in the add city screen, we have a text box so that you can write the name of your city and you can say save. Whenever you say save, it's going to go ahead and fetch the weather of that particular city and give it to the weather list screen so that we can append it and add it and display the city's weather. So I'm going to go to the view models and add a new file. This can be a Swift file, that's perfectly fine. And I'm going to go ahead and call this add weather view model. There we go. Next, I'm going to go ahead and start with creating add weather view model, which will be using the observable object protocol. I'm also going to go ahead and create a property called city and assign it string value to be initially to be blank. In order to save a weather, I'm going to go ahead and create a save function. And in the save function, I'm going to pass in the completion handler, which will be escaping. And after the completion handler is actually fired, it is going to give us weather view model. Let's go ahead and give it void. There we go. So the whole point of this save function is to make sure that we are communicating with the web service. The web service is going to give us the model back. We are going to convert that model into a view model and send it back using our closure. At this particular moment, we don't have anything called weather view model. We are going to implement that in a moment. But right now, we don't have anything called weather view model. Let's go ahead and call the service. So web service dot get weather by city. We can go ahead and pass a city. The completion handler is going to get fired, which is going to give us the result. The result is in result type, and it is an enum, so we can go ahead and switch on it. We can perform the case for success, which is going to give us the weather. This is the weather object, the weather model, not the view model. If this is all correct, then we can dispatch q.main.async and we can fire the completion handler, passing in the weather view model, which by the way doesn't exist, and passing weather view model an instance of the weather. The other case that we will have will be the failure case in which something bad has actually happened. And for failure for now, we're just going to go ahead and print out the error on the console. This code is not really going to work because we don't really have anything called weather view model. So let's go to our view models and add a new view model, which will be called weather view model. The weather view model will be responsible for representing some weather on the screen. This means that when, when you see different weathers listed out, like Houston and Boston and San Antonio and San Francisco, the weather view model is going to be representing those particular view models. I'm going to go ahead and create a structure and I will call it weather view model. In order to create the weather view model, you will require it so that you will have to pass in the weather model object. Let's go ahead and build it. And now it's successful. We still haven't really implemented the details of the weather view model. So what exactly do you want to expose to the view? Well, there are a couple of different things you want to expose from the weather view model, whatever you want to display on the view. One of those things is obviously the temperature. So let's go ahead and get the temperature. We will get the temperature directly from the model, weather dot temperature. Perfect. Using the same exact approach, we can expose a couple of other properties to, to give access to the view for the city 
the icon, the sunset, and the sunrise. All of these values are coming from the weather model, and the weather view model is simply returning those properties. So now that we have implemented our weather view model as well as the add weather view model, let's go ahead and see that how can we start displaying things on the screen.